Hello everyone. I know that I mostly do more entertainment-centered videos, but I saw this controversy and I felt like I had something to add to the discussion. As such, I'm putting out this somewhat off-the-cuff video. It's not going to be very visual, so feel free to just listen while you do whatever else. There was a trailer released over a month ago that has been making the rounds, and lately it has bothered some people who are outside of the gaming sphere. It's prompted a few articles and quotes from people saying the game is disgusting, among other things. See, one of the trailers put shows the player we put into the position of a maid slash caregiver that is a humanoid robot. It shows that her job is to cook, clean, and take care of the child. But it also shows how the child is getting abused verbally and physically by her father. The father is abusive not only to the child, but also to the maid in this trailer, so he is shown to be a very violent and angry man. The climax shows where the father starts yelling at the girl, throwing their dining room table. The girl runs away and the father chases after her, yelling, Daddy's very angry! Later on, it seems the player is given a choice as to what to do. It seems like the choices result in you, Taking the girl and running, running yourself so he doesn't, quote, break you like last time, as the little girl implores, or confronting the father and possibly killing him. Another big issue with this trailer seems to be that it looks like it can possibly result in the father beating the child to death. He holds her limp body and lays her down on the bed, tears having run down his face, and says quietly, Daddy isn't angry anymore. This is an emotional and chilling scenario for anyone, whether you're in the gaming world or not. Child abuse is a quite difficult topic. However, the problem is that various non-gamers have seen the trailer and decided that because of this scenario, the game should be censored or pulled completely. The idea being that this trivializes child abuse and makes it look like a game, at least to them. I'll tell you all somewhat of a secret. I was abused by my father when I was young. I was abused in just about every form you could imagine. And it was also around the same age as the girl in the trailer. So, I will admit that the trailer did stir emotion within me. It made me think of my own horrible experiences and what I went through. But, while that was indeed the case, never did I feel like my experience was being trivialized or thought of as a game. I understand that the people who want to censor this think that it will cause emotional turmoil in people and perhaps give them the wrong ideas about the topic, but here's a couple things to consider. For one, the game is rated M, as in it's for adults. Adults can handle situations like this. And secondly, censoring child abuse in media does not make it go away. Media does not cause bad things to happen. There have been plenty of studies that show that the idea of games causing real-life violent behavior are false. Getting rid of depictions of bad things will not stop the bad things. In fact, you could argue that it will make the bad things worse. People will not be as familiar with the situation, they won't know what signs to look for, and because of that they may not be able to potentially help a child in need. I believe the big problem here is a thorough misunderstanding of games as a medium, and also the refusal to think of games as an art form of any kind. I asked myself, and would ask these people, why is it okay for children to die and or be abused, etc., in books, TV shows, and movies? Why? Because those have been around for long enough to be seen by most as art. In fact, I even remember a story from about a year ago or so. Uh, anyway, the story was about this woman who was kidnapped and kept as a slave along with other children for years. In order to help her deal with the trauma, she painted depictions of what happened to her and other people. These paintings are quite disturbing if you look at them. However, no one said that they shouldn't be shown to anyone or that she should stop painting them at all. Again, it's because art is allowed to show horrific situations. Also, paint is an old medium, and just about everything has been done in paintings. So people are used to it, and they don't question it. 
Despite the fact that for me and most gamers, games have been around all or most of our lives, games are still a relatively new medium. As such, most people who are on the outside can only see what's on the surface. They see the most popular games like Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, Mario, etc. and go, it's just a game. And whenever they depict anything having to do with the real world, they decide, how dare something lowly like this game do such a thing? They're turning these real-life scenarios into a game. I get that there are some issues with this, especially when the player is doing the horrific thing. In fact, I'd understand this a lot better if the player was being the child. But that's not the case. The player can stop this. To be honest, I had a much harder time with Grand Theft Auto V's torture scene. Not only does it literally make you as the player torture a person, but you even get a gold medal on the mission partially for using every torture tool. Now I won't say that scene was wrong either. I think it was meant to portray that torture is undertaken by our government, and you have to wonder just how justified that is, as well as the info that comes from it. You know, is that good info? Is it to be trusted, etc.? The point being, whether it's 24 or Grand Theft Auto 5, they're both doing torture and they're both evoking the same questions. People are simply mad at the latter because it's a game and not art. At least that's how they see it. As a short aside, I will say that not all non-gamers are like this. As a test, I showed this trailer to my non-gamer friends and one friend who is a gamer, but is mostly into more action-oriented stuff. The non-gamer straight out said, stuff like this needs to be shown for all to see, and that if they're going to do it, it shouldn't be done halfway. Let it all show. I just felt that was important to say so we don't go into a whole gamers versus non-gamers mentality. Yeah, the people accusing this game of being sick obviously have never touched a game in their life, but not all people who don't play games are like this. So, the solution? Don't censor games. In fact, games like this should be celebrated. They bring issues to people's attention that need to be brought to our attention, even if they're hard to talk about. I get that they're hard to talk about, but we need to pay attention to this. Not only that, but this will lead to games not being just games. This will lead to games potentially being art, and being catalysts for discussion, debate, and thought, just like the best works of art. At least that's my opinion. I thank you all for listening, and I hope to see you again in my next video.